Hey guys, this is Briar Horses 1004, and today I'm gonna show you how to wash Western tack. Like, I see a lot of videos on how to wash English tack, like you know, English saddle pads, you just put them in the washing machine, but I see nothing on how to wash Western saddle pads and cinches. So, I got I mean, this one's obviously pretty dirty. I got this, this is like a oh, yeah, that's a lot of this has a lot of dirt on it. And, here and then this one I use this one the most this one's just dirt sweat so I'm gonna show you how to wash them so yeah hey guys so I already started to wash my little um comfort pad here and so I figured out how to get most of the hair off as you can see I started this side is almost done if you look here compare it to here so what you're gonna need to use is uh, one that's really stiff, a brush that's really stiff, and what I learned is, well, you gotta get it wet first, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go around in circles. Circles get most of the hair off. If you didn't notice, um, when you're brushing horses, you go in circles, and that gets their hair off, so I thought, you know, Maybe this would just... Okay, I gotta switch hands. I'm right here. Okay, that's better. Hmm? Do you notice a difference? See? Alright, so this pad is actually all clean. So basically, again, what I did is I took the, uh, the stippled, or the stiff brush, and I went in circular motions, just like that. As you can see, like what it was before, it is all clean now. The permanent hair is still there, but the hair that was loose is off. All right, so time for the cinch. Um, this has more hair on it than sweat, like loose hair, just like this. What I'm gonna do is, well, what you're gonna wanna do is wet this down, take your stiff brush, and go in circles again. So I have another cinch here, and I'm gonna do that same thing again because it mostly has hair on the top. So I just did that to this cinch, and it doesn't even look like the same one. It, most of the hair has been taken off. I'll maybe do it again, but yeah. All right, so these are done, and I got most of the hair off, so just use the tips that I gave you, and for stuff that has a lot of hair on it, you'll be able to get it off. All right, so time, now it's time for felt pads that don't have the excessive amount of hair on them. They only have dirt and sweat, like this. How, see how it's brown here? So what you're gonna wanna do, since it's felt, get the surface wet before you do anything. Just get the surface a little bit wet. And then what you're gonna wanna do is take a horse sponge, get that wet, and then I'm gonna show you. Just start brushing away at the dirt. So again, make sure you don't get it too wet because these are going to take a long time to dry anyways. So just get the surface wet, get a sponge wet, and just start brushing away. I already got this side clean. Alright, so it's starting to look better. Just another little tip. The wetter the sponge, the better it's going to get the stuff out. So I'm going to start right here. There's a, or right here, a little black spot right there. And it's good if you move in this direction. Watch what I'm doing. See that came out pretty clean. So the wetter the sponge, the more stuff it's gonna get out, and then move in this direction. All right, so this is what it looks like now. Obviously it is so much cleaner. It was so black before. So if you just follow my tips for this kind of saddle pad, the felt saddle pad, to get excessive dirt off, not hair but dirt and sweat, this is how it's going to turn out. 
So I had this little blue pad and it had hair all along there and I got it all off by using my circular motion tip. And finally this pad had both lots this pad has both lots of hair and dirt, like literally dirt, if you can see that. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take the sponge and get all of that dirt off first, and then I'm gonna go in with my stiff brush and then do the circular motions and get all that hair off. All right, so I am done with this and I'm letting you all to dry. Another thing I wanted to point out is how often you should wash them. Depends on how often you ride and what you're doing, like how vigorous, you know, the exercise is. So just go home, take a look at your saddle pads and just, you know, evaluate on how dirty they are and just see if you should wash them out or not. So I'm ho I hope you find my tips and tricks video helpful because I literally found nothing on how to wash western saddle pads and cinches. Like some are saying take it to the, like the laundry mat, but if you're a kid you just can't do that. You if you want to know how to wash them like quickly, this is how you do it. So yeah, bye.